So Gavin made us brunch today and he's got some scrambled eggs, bacon, and some wedge potatoes that he seasoned. It smells super good. And we also have biscuits. Hey guys, Mama B and I, we are going to go to Aubrey's first wedding dress fitting. I'm really excited for her. She just got engaged a couple weeks ago. And so this is her first time trying on wedding dresses. And she has a few in mind, so we'll see if it'll end up being the one she wants. Um, and also today, she says she has like a special little thing to give to me. So I already know I'm gonna be in her bridal party, but I don't know if what I am, like bridesmaid, whatever. So, find out later. Okay, you guys, I wish I had filmed my reaction to opening this because I did not know I was Aubrey's maid of honor or that she had picked me to be her maid of honor. And yes, I did even tear up <laughs> um, because I'm so excited to be her maid of honor and be a part of her special day. So she got me this sweet card and she wrote a really nice note in there as well. And then look how cute these are. Light up the aisle with me and it's a candle. And then this one says, I can't say I do without you. And it's a scrub and it smells super good. It's vanilla champagne. So thank you, Aubrey, if you're watching. I'm so excited to be your maid of honor. And I will definitely show you guys as we continue to do fun activities for her wedding. I'm about to go take care of these nails because they are way past due. <laughs> and probably going to do some kind of pastel color and a little more pointed of a nail um, for Easter, since we're only two weeks away from Easter. All right, you guys, pastel colors. So fun. So I did a different um, pastel color on each finger and then a gold sparkle on my ring finger. And I think it turned out really cute and I got them a little more pointed. I just opened this awesome package from Liquid IV. Let me show you what it says on the front. And then, would you stop? She keeps, look, now I have a hole in my sock from you. Stop it. So this is the original Liquid IV. If you don't know what these are, they're just little packets. Here, I'll show you. I have them right here. I have one every single morning and it gives you triple the hydration in just eight ounces. And it makes your water taste really good, too. And it has electrolytes and vitamins and minerals also, other than just multiplying your hydration. So this one is my favorite, the immune support one. Um, it's tangerine flavor. It's awesome. I love this one. I do like the strawberry, too. This one I have not tried. Energy multiplier. Oh, so it's like an energy drink mix. Hmm. That should be interesting lemon ginger and then blueberry lavender this is a sleep multiplier Ooh, i definitely will be trying this out very soon but i for sure love these i've not tried these i'll let, I'll let you guys know soon and they also sent me this little pouch to hold my liquid ivs in and even as chris i was all excited about this because it's the perfect size and i have little pouches like this in my purse so i'm definitely going to bring these along with me to work now 
Okay, one other thing. Built Bar came out with a raspberry cheesecake bar. You guys, I was not a fan of their other, or I didn't love their white chocolate bars in the past, but this one is so, so good. And I love cheesecake. So this is a great alternative, and it has these big chunks of raspberry in it. Seriously, this goes in my top five. They've been coming out with some really tasty bars this year. So every day I come home and I play with this one. Yeah. <laughs> I play with this one um, and Lucy. And then I let them run like crazy in the yard. They like do a couple laps in the grass when I first come home. And I just feel so bad when I leave them home all day alone. Like literally have separation anxiety. Me, not, well, maybe she does, but. I really have separation anxiety when I have to go to work and leave them, make home alone. So today I splurged and got my favorite new Starbucks drink, thanks to my friend Aubrey. Um, yes, the same Aubrey that's getting married next year. She actually told me yesterday the wedding date's going to be um, February 10th of next year. So I'm so excited. I'm so happy to be her maid of honor too. Anyways, not the point. Venti green tea matcha latte with two pumps of vanilla. So that's why this is like a treat coffee or not really coffee tea. Um, treat Starbucks for me because it is about 280 calories for a venti. Um, which I mean, that's a lot of calories, but I didn't have breakfast or anything yet for the day. So, and I really need a little pick me up. I attempted to make tortilla, Spanish tortilla tonight, and did a horrible job at the flip, so just decided to make it a tortilla scramble. So that's what it is. Hey guys, I got some clothes in the mail that I wanted to share with you. Now, I don't have Spanx on or anything that's going to make everything super smooth because I just wanted to try these on really quick, but this dress is ridiculously sexy and so pretty. Um, so these two pieces, the first two pieces I'm going to share with you are from Scarlet Darkness and they have some really awesome, more vintage looking styles. And I've been super into that as of lately. I'm sure you know if you follow me on Instagram. So, um, I really do like the little like ruching detail on the chest area and it actually does have little clips right here, um, in the middle here that I guess you could listen if you wanted to, but I kind of like that. It, I can make sure it's going to stay closed. And then I love the little details on the sleeves. Like, look at that pretty lace. And it actually has that same lace detail on the bottom here. Don't mind my... Right? It's like... I like it. Pretty for date night. Oh, well, hello. Hello, did you find mommy? You found me? You found me? You found mama? Did you, honey? She was playing outside with Lucy. You guys, how cute is this top, too? I love it. So cute. It has a little bit of that ruching detail here too and some little feminine touches here with the f like ruffled fabric edges there. And this is like a stretchy fabric as you can see. And this is just like a sheer, really floaty sleeve. Love that. And this does come in multiple colors as does the dress. Has some kind of like faux boning right here to kind of make it look more like a corset. So pretty. Okay, you guys remember when I showed you that really cute pink top with the ruffle sleeves? I'll show you in a second. It's hanging up. Um, this is from the same company. And the concept is cute, having like the little lace poke through the sweater. But I think it kind of almost imitates a hairy chest. I know, now that, you, now that I've said that, you won't be able to see anything else maybe. But I don't know. I have to see what what Chris thinks of it because he's always honest with me. But I don't know. Maybe if it was in a different color because this does come in a lot of different colors, and I like that it is not super oversized, so it doesn't make me look heavier. Because um, that's hard to do with sweaters for me sometimes. Because my hips are wider, it will just make me look super wide. But this sweater doesn't, and it's super comfortable, nice and warm too. I just don't know what I think of this detail. You can kind of tuck it in though. But really, that's the cool part of the shirt, of the sweater, I mean. So, we'll see what we'll see what I do with that. But I will link all of these cute pieces down below for you guys. And tell me yay or nay when it comes to the sweater and the lace. And this is the cute pink top I was talking about. I love the little sleeve details. 
I've actually worn this top a few times already now. Guys, it is such a beautiful day out. It's like 65-ish, 66, I don't know. At least it was supposed to be 66 today. I didn't catch the dogs running like crazy, but seriously, it's become our routine. I come home, I say, who wants to go run in the yard? And they go crazy, and then they go run and run and run in the grass. this one doing? Are you eating leaves again? She sure is, mommy. I'm outside I thought I would show you guys our trees up close starting to blossom aren't, aren't these so pretty I love these flowers so she's a happy girl and this is the little borders that Chris put around these are starting to get a little bit fuller they're gonna it's gonna be a while till our yard looks lush because we put such small plants in but look how much growth is on our tree now She's blossoming and so happy. I forgot to tell you guys that I washed my hair today and I really like how my curls turned out today. And I think it's because of the mousse I used. I used um, a mousse from Living Proof. I usually use Living Proof products for my curls, but this time I use a mousse. And I'll show you, I'll either insert a picture right here or I'll show you later when I get back upstairs. But I really do like it. The trick with it though is not to use too much or then you get those like little crunchy pieces and I don't like that. I just like separation of my curls and definition but I don't want it to look crunchy. So yeah, I really like how it turned out. So I just got back from Michael's and also Target. Um, and I've already put a few pieces away, but I'll show you them in a second. Um, and I wanted to show you this cute plate that I found at Michael's. All of the things I purchased were 40% off. And actually the reason I went there is because we're going to be making Easter bonnets. My mom, Haley, who's Brian's girlfriend, myself and Haley's mom. So we're gonna be doing that tomorrow. I'll show you what I got for my hat. But I saw this plate and I just thought it was so, so cute. And it was 40% off. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually be hosting Easter this year. So I figured this would be cute for some deviled eggs or to do like a little mini um, dessert charcuterie board or something like that. I don't know, I'm just gonna leave it here though in the kitchen for now. And then the other thing I purchased were these pieces here. Now I'm using them as to elevate the candles and I did put some paper in that you can kind of see. So I might put some like Easter egg candy around the side so you can't see that, but it was to hold the glass straight because it kept moving on me. It's still not perfectly straight, there we go. Um, but I just put that on the bottom of the wreath and I'm actually gonna be using these in my spring decor later when it's more like, I'm gonna be using yellows and blues pretty much in the spring. Um, and I'll show you guys that later when Easter is over, but I have that on both sides. So I purchased two of those and those were in like the country farmhouse decor section of Michael's. And then I also got this tobacco basket. I loved the coloring of it. It matches these baskets down here that I got at Michael's a while back. And I'm actually going to put this in the center over here. I have one now, but it's more like oblong and it's fine for what its purpose is right now. But after Easter, I have a different idea that I'm going to do and I'm going to use this in the center there. I also saw this basket at the Target um, dollar spot and I just really liked the different textures. It was $5 and it's very similar, excuse me, my receipt's in there. It's very similar to the basket, the bigger basket that I have in the front during like my non-seasonal decor times. So I'll share that with you guys once I start decorating with this. But so here on our buffet, like our island area, 
Um, I have these really cute dishes that I got from Michael's last year. They do have something very similar this year as well, if you can find it. But I just loved these here. Like, they're really pretty blues. Um, so I wanted to bring that into the kitchen here a little bit since we had a lot of pink, but I still had some colorful, like, blue details and some pastels here and there. So I thought I would bring some faux flowers into here because the the faux flowers were all the florals were 40 percent off at michael's right now so this is actually three bunches of stems um the kind of bluish violet color one and the yellow tip one is one bunch together and then i had two of this more white and the white one is the one that has this pretty stem as well but i just bunched them together Three different stems and kind of manipulated them to make it really nice and full and then I've had this Ray Dunn piece that says farm fresh it looks like a milk can so yeah just thought I'd share that with you because I thought it looked really pretty yes that is a diet coke right there you guys know addicted all right anyways eggs like little malted eggs on the top like that or no eggs like this only reason I do actually like it with no eggs, but I don't like that you can see the paper underneath a little bit. So you guys tell me though. And these are the other items I purchased at Michael's today. Everything was 40% off. The hat is from Target actually, but everything else is from Michael's. My mom got me this cute reusable tote that says Happy Easter, so cute. It's also from Michael's. All right, so the ribbon, I got really lucky. It was on clearance and I really liked this ribbon because it had the burlap on the inside a little bit thicker and then on the outside it's a little bit thinner with the lace edges so either way I think it's gonna be so pretty on the bonnets I'm gonna make two my mom actually has another one for me but I like the structure of this one too so I think I'm gonna make two and hang them in my beauty room um, but anyway so I did get the mint and then also the pink like it's kind of a pinky peach color and I thought it went perfect with the colors that I'm choosing to do for this hat and I'll probably only do one hat tomorrow and you guys will see it on next week's vlog because um, I'm doing it tomorrow Sunday when the vlog goes up. So I also got these little faux strand of beads, of pearls, excuse me, to use. And then these are actually my mom's, but they, I think they got into this bag because it was fragile. So I helped her and put them in there, but these are gonna be on hers. She's doing blue and yellows. And then one of these will be on mine, most likely the lighter pink or this one here, just because the purple doesn't really go with what I'm doing. And they just kind of clip on. And then I also got these little bees, little honey bees. And then I loved the little fuzz balls on this one. And this one I think was only like $2.99 plus 40% off. So this one was really affordable. And same thing with this one. This one's kind of getting everywhere though, so I don't love it, but it is really pretty for just some little detailed pieces. And all of these individual stems were, I believe, $4 without the 40% off. So they are pricier, but they so look these just look so much more real and I don't know, just more lifelike and the petals are soft. So I actually had to really scavenge through the individual little buds to find these. So I got that one, I actually got two of the roses, pink roses, and then I have two of these. I never know how to say these, but they're my favorite flower. Emini, Emini, I don't know. So I got two of those, I believe, yeah another one of that and then I got a few cabbage roses because I just thought they were so beautiful this light pink and then this darker pink and then I also have it in this pretty like yellow light yellow peachy color and then I got a few tulips because I definitely wanted to do more of like a springtime hat is this a tulip no that's another cabbage rose two more cabbage roses I just thought they'd be really pretty on the, the hat. So here are the tulips, so pretty. This is how the hat looks before I decorate it. It's cute, huh? So anyways, I am going to start cleaning up and Chris is doing the lattice, like putting up the lattice for our vines today. And I'm gonna try to help him possibly later if he needs it. And well, he never needs it, but you know, it's always 
nice to have somebody helping with stuff like that. So I might help them out with that. If it gets finished today, I'll show you. If not, I'll show you in next week's vlog. But thank you so much for watching. Happy Easter to all of you because next week I'm going to be posting on Easter and I don't know how many of you can still follow like your routine of watching on Sunday if you're celebrating Easter. Hopefully you'll get to because I will put some Easter content on there. There'll be an Easter recipe. Um, I'm going to be making these cute little cupcakes and these little nests. So, well, I might do one or the other because I have a lot of other things I'm going to be making next Sunday and Saturday to prep because um, I'm going to be having Easter brunch here at my house with my family. So um, I will share that. We're looking time. at seasonals right now at Lowe's. There's so many pretty ones. I love these over here. There's like so many brilliant colors. But these are a few of the ones we're thinking of doing. Chris got me this really cute planter for Valentine's Day and I just, um, I forgot to show you guys that he put it together just this last weekend and we just got the flowers for it now. And so he's gotten one of the lattices put together. He actually had to like cut this and he has nails pre-measured to go up and we just went to Lowe's as you guys saw so that we can get a drill bit that can go through the cement blocks. So we're about to hang that up right now. And I think he's gonna do the other two lattice cause we have one for that vine there. And then there's another one over there. So I will have to show you guys next weekend. But yes, it's coming along. You guys, I think I overdid the filler. Oh, babe, what'd you do to your face? <laughs> oh my God. Ha ha, psych. That's much better. <laughs> It was a filter on Instagram, you guys. I'll put the name of it right here if you want to try it yourself and scare some people because it's frightening. <laughs>